we've already seen some hard-fought battles at the Garden. We must be at the Big East Tournament. And a new team is joining the hunt tonight. I'm on another level. I'm on another level. The Blue Jays look to rise to the occasion and put their best on display. But the Wildcats showed their true colors in a big way last night. It's two teams fighting for their spot in the semis. The day two finale is next. Lady Liberty will have a tight eye on this one from Madison Square Garden tonight. It's a rematch of last year's Big East Tournament Championship game as Creighton and the defending tournament champs Villanova are set to meet in our final quarterfinal showdown of the night. The Blue Jays off a two-game win week re-entered the top 25 this week. They're at number 24. If they can get by Villanova, they will take on two seasons. Savior. In years past, the Creighton conversation was about offense and three-point shooting. This year, it's about defense. They led the league in scoring defense in Big East games, Donnie, only allowing 67 a game. How about the way Coach McDermott has reworked this team? They matched. They matched. 14 conference wins. That's their record. They match that record by really changing what they do defensively. This is a team that averages 13 personal fouls a game. It's almost impossible. And defensively on the glass, fifth in America, 29 a game. You are not getting any offensive rebounds against them. That guy right there, we know he's a scorer. He's going to defend as well. He had his headband on like 30 uh, minutes ago. He, he really did an hour ago, actually. <laughs> and we're underway from the world's most famous arena. I mean, because Johnson right now, Bill, we're going to win. man, and can they keep them barred out of the dribble drive and find? And Shireman, such an outstanding player, whether it's the three, the dribble drive, and the pass. This guy is important, I think, pull over a nice pass to the big fella, Ryan. They need Coloma to get some numbers, I think. A yeah, good point, too, guys. I mean, replacing Jay, obviously, a, a task in itself. Done all the injuries and played a really tough early schedule. Coloma, there you go. Nice little turnaround. He's got some talent. Demar lost an edge to get it back. Oh, are they ready for that? And the big foul. Oh, are they ready for that? Attack mode. Big Mac, a few days to prep. Get the physical presence. Creighton wants to get Trey Alexander in the act as well. Well, you can shoot it. You had more on your ride. Paloma. And Gino did a really nice move. That looked like a travel, but they played through it. Nicely done. Armstrong turns the corner. Almost stripped. Yes, he stripped Shireman. This is their early offense where they get that three. Alexander. You make a mistake, you pay. And Creighton takes a 12 to 6 lead. Cut off nicely by Dixon. I think him playing the point last year after Nembar got hurt really has helped his game. Nembar got hurt at St. John's. Nice cut by Columbus. Columbus. Alexander Fade. There you yeah. go. Good player. Really talented kid. Paluma, no place to go. Seven to shoot. Alexander's got to hurry. That's a fly. Goodness. Parabella checks in. He has developed to be a big time threat on that box as well. No turnovers for Great. And Villanova's turned it over four times already. The find by Sharman. Justin Moore working the inside game, almost traveled. And Sharman's done a nice job with the toughness of both Moore and Whitman. Yeah, Bella. There you go. They've been looking for him. Ten a bell out of the garden. 237 to play. First half. The winner to take on. Save nice help by Armstrong on that roll. Five to shoot. 
Here's Kalkbrenner. Quick turn up and in. Oh, it was some good minutes, but a nice entry leading the big gun to the rim. And jumped out to a 6-0 start, including wins over then number 9, Arkansas, and number 21, Texas Tech in Maui. Turner! 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 Turner!